Our Chinese takeout game is used to be like so strong until we found this recipe. I mean, you guys are gonna want this recipe. probably dupe this from the Chinese. Normally it's hard to make dumplings, but we have literally the easiest hack for you. And I'm not kidding, you're gonna want to make these at home. Here I have my ginger, my um, garlic, my green scallion, hot water. And this is the base of, this goes into our um, meat, into our pork. So we're gonna steep these three ingredients in hot water and then we're gonna pour it over a sieve and we're gonna put it into our meat and that's where all it draws out all those yummy yummy flavors so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with our ginger our ginger our garlic and we're gonna just grate it into this bowl right here so we're just gonna grate it you can use your just regular grater this is a one of those little zesters but this does its job for sure and we're just gonna go through all this garlic gonna make sure you don't grate your fingers down. You don't have to go all the way down to Just you can leave this, or you can actually throw it in there as well because we're actually gonna run it all through the sieve anyways. Nothing like a sauce of a side of human. <laughs> Watch your fingers. All right, I'm on my last garlic and then we're gonna go to our ginger. Grab our ginger, we're just gonna grate it. We're gonna grate about two inches. So you know the um, Chinese meals all have ginger in them. Most Chinese meals have ginger in it. That's like my favorite part of the meal is the ginger. Love that little, get that little bitterness in the back of your throat, little burning sensation. It's like my favorite. All right, that is what it sort of looks like in the bowl right there. And this is a, the green part of this, uh, um, the green scallions. We're gonna use just the white portion of the green onion because we're the other portion we're gonna use just for serving and then put it into our bowl. Once you're done with this step, we're gonna pour it over. We're creating a yummy little ginger scallion garlic tea. I mean, who doesn't like that? This kind of keeps the meal enjoyable and all these pieces out of your teeth whenever you run it through the sieve because you know you're gonna be chewing on a wonton or um, and you just get a little onion in your teeth. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour this hot water into this concoction. We're gonna let it steep for about five to 10 minutes. And then um, you, you can kind of like feel the water. If it really like cools down, then it's ready to be mixed into your mixture. So we're just gonna set this aside and then we're gonna get, wait until this cools down. The concoction is ready to go. Sieve the, put this through a sieve. Just gonna pour it right over. Smells already so good. Smells like a little wonton. Get all them yummy, yummy juices out. Just gonna toss this right back here. Look at this beautiful, clean broth. So nice. And this is gonna go right into our meat. Here we have our one pound of ground pork. And next goes two eggs, two whole eggs, medium eggs. And we're just gonna mix it together. Mix it really well. You can use whatever ground uh, meat you want for this. If you wanna be healthy, you can go for the turkey, ground turkey, ground chicken, but to get that authentic flavor, we're gonna use pork. I love it. I like, it's funny, cause I used to never eat pork or any kind of meat until I got married. <laughs> that boy, I was just mixed it really, really well. I'm gonna throw in my ground pepper my sugar and salt. And then we're gonna mix that up really well. So you're gonna mix it for about like a minute. Make sure everything's mixed well together. It already looks really good. Mix. And the smells, just wait till we pour in our um, mixture of ginger scallion. So we're gonna grab our water. We're gonna slowly pour this in three batches. So we're gonna pour it in slowly. Just a little bit. We're gonna mix it up. Just really get, oh my gosh, the, you can smell the ginger. It smells so, so good. And just mix it really well. And then pour in a little bit more. 
and then mix it again. So it just evenly distributes everything really well and just spreads it out. I'm just gonna do our last pour in right here and it just already smells so good, like a little wonton. It really does smell homemade. Like, you can't get any better than this. Ollie, what you doing, buddy? Ah. Okay, and just keep mixing so it becomes more like a paste. And then it's ready to be put into our little wonton wrappers. All right, the next step is super easy. Guess what? We don't have to make the wrappers. We just go to the store and we buy them. We're gonna grab our little wonton wrappers. This is what I was talking about. They're literally $2.99. I don't think they sell them for more than that. And if they do, you better be getting like a stash because these are super cheap and we always have these in the freezer. Just make sure whenever you do purchase them um, that they're not um, have a freezer burn on the edges because they're not gonna stick well together. Because We've had our fair share of wonton wrappers that had freezer burns and they would not stick together and that's a no-go. They're nice and fresh and beautiful little wrappers. And you can find these at your local grocery store and that's where we found ours. And if you have your a local Asian market, they for sure sell them. I'm gonna grab my wonton wrappers and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of water in a little cup and my meat. This is my little teaspoon. I only have like two of these. So I, <laughs> I cherish these so much. All right, gonna grab your wonton wrapper. You're gonna grab the back of the spoon. You wanna keep your hands dry. I just, like I said, and then you're just gonna put it on just one side. And then you're just gonna do half a teaspoon of meat. Don't do too much because it will um, come out of the shell and you do not want that. You wanna keep it inside. Wow, it's getting there. Um, and then you're just gonna close it up, like this. And there's this cool hack to make these little wontons super cute. You just wet the corners right there, right there. And then you just push in just a little bit and then you just turn it in like that. And then voila. I think that they're cute. I think it's cute. Whenever it boils, it's like really cute. <laughs> it's like a little sailor's hat. Like look how cute it is. And it does get a little tedious. So it's, it's an awesome like family little thing to do just to keep you know, the kids busy, or like if you have like, uh, you know, all your families over, it's great to have them all do it all together. Cause for one person it gets annoying, not gonna lie. It does get a little repetitive. So usually it's just me and me and Bogdan doing these together. Wish Ollie could do them. That boy, he'd destroy all of them. But yeah, it's just a great family kind of thing. And that's what we usually do in like the Ukrainian culture. If we're making like the pierogies, um, we do them as a family. And cause it's, you know, it's faster that way too. And you can get a lot of them done. And then you just like, fr like freeze them and just have them like a stash of them in the freezer where it's an easy, easy kind of meal to have to do. They're about to go into the freezer. So there's about 27 of them. I screwed one up, I'm not gonna lie, I had to toss it out. But this is gonna make about 50. Um, so we're about halfway there. So we're gonna put these into the freezer. So if you wanna eat your dumplings like today, you wanna make sure you freeze them for about 10 minutes. But if you're doing it to um, store them, we made some like a week ago and we made like little baggies. There's about 15, so it's like two portions. And we just freeze them and then they're ready to go whenever we're like craving some. So we just put them in a pot to boil and they're ready to be served. All right, so we have our, our water is boiling, ready for our um, little dumplings to go in. Set this on the side. And you want the water to be at a ro rolling boil before you dump them. So we're just gonna dump, there's about 15 of them. So we're just gonna dump them straight frozen into the water. 
And then what we're looking for, I'm just gonna stir these just a little bit. What we're looking for is for them to float up to the top. That's when you know that they're ready. They start floating up to the top. So you really have to watch them so they don't overcook. Right now it's only one or two, but you want most of them floating up at the top of your um, pot. All right, they're ready to be fished out. I'm just gonna use this little scooper. Look at that. Nice, they stayed all together. None of the meat came out. That's why it's super important to get the, freeze them a little bit. And bring this right on over there. This sauce right here that I'm mixing, the ingredients and the how to make this will be in the description below. It's this yummy, yummy sauce. We're gonna pour this over our dumplings. You can either just have it as a dipping sauce, but I like to pour it over just to get it delicious. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And this is like one of those meals where if you start eating one, you're not, it's not gonna be enough. You can ju you're just gonna be like inhaling them pretty much because they're so good. This is one of those things that people always ask, what do you get at Trader Joe's? This, this is one of those things that you can't get anywhere else except Trader Joe's. It's one of our favorite chili oils that we get there. And we also have this, we're gonna either put it on, you can either put it onto your dumpling or serve it on the side. Well, I'm gonna put it onto our dumpling. Ollie smells them dumplings. Oh shoot, I should probably save some for him. Next, I'm gonna put a little green onion because who doesn't like a green onion? Delicious, look at that. All right, we have a guest te taste tester here today. Ollie, are we gonna try these yummy dumplings? The one that has the most, if I look, you know how to use jobs. Mmm, <laughs> Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about the dumplings? Yeah? You think they're good? Mm-hmm. You wanna give it to mommy? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you follow us on Instagram for the behind the scenes and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys at our next video.